Hey everyone, before I get into the rest of this video, because we'll be talking about Switch Stop, another YouTube channel. I don't talk about other YouTube channels very often, but there's an interesting thing happening uh, with them that I want to get into. And yes, they are a bigger YouTube channel than mine, so uh, there is that as well. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to remind you to enter our giveaway. We are giving away a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered this month. To enter, all you have to do is comment on this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, Hit that bell icon, set it to all notifications. That gets you one entry into the contest. If you do this on every single video in this month, that's an additional entry. You can even do it on our live streams. However, you have to wait till they go to video on demand. You can't enter while it's live, unfortunately. That's just the way the program works. Uh, beyond that, though, we are on our road to 50,000 subscribers. And if we can hit 50,000 subscribers before the month of November, November's giveaway will end up being for a PlayStation 5 an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch, choice of the winner. Anyways, let's get into this news. And this is actually uh, an interesting situation, more so because um, this is just kind of a harsh reminder of how quickly uh, things can kind of spiral out of control and you could just lose everything here on YouTube when you're not diversified. Now, uh, I used to diversify a little bit on my channel. Uh, I, I would be here, I'd have live streams here as well, but I, and then I'd also be over on Twitch a little bit, um, and then on Mixer for a little bit as well, and I also technically have a second YouTube channel. However, um, I kind of stopped pushing you know, the Mixer, now that's closed now, Twitch as well. Uh, I, don't, I don't do anything on Twitch now. And I don't really push my second YouTube channel much either because I kind of put all of my time and energy right here on Nintendo Prime, on this channel. Everything is so focused in on this channel. The podcast is here. Uh, all the videos are here. The news is all here. Uh, if I talk about other, you know, other platforms like Xbox and PlayStation, I do it here. I don't do it on separate channels. But uh, as much as that's great to have all everything focused on the one channel, and I think it helps uh, you know keep this channel active and alive and all that, there is kind of a... Uh, alternative reality that could exist uh, where this is actually a negative thing uh, and switch stop is another popular YouTube channel fairly popular they have, they have about 76 77 thousand subscribers uh, their videos always got a ton of views um, you know anything from you know 15,000 to a hundred thousand etc they, they, they were a, a, a quickly rising channel over the last couple of years um, maybe not rising as fast as someone like swan wave or, or or you know bob wolf from wolf then and all that but still um they were a channel that was on the rise and uh ran by two people i don't remember these two people's names so i apologize for this even though i'm literally staring at their faces right now on screen um but what happened is their youtube account as you saw in the title is terminated uh not just banned, not just locked down, terminated. And you might be like, what What exactly do you have to do to get your account terminated by YouTube? It must be pretty bad. Uh, you know, when the Jake Pauls of the world and all these other people can do some crazy things, you have Logan Paul out in a suicide forest, how the hell can, we, uh, can, can these guys have their account terminated? Well, simply put, there, a, there was a series of two live streams that appeared on their channel. Uh, that were for Bitcoin scams. Now, this isn't me saying that they were doing that themselves. Uh, the account got hacked. Uh, and, well, when, when the account got hacked, uh, there was a lot of reports of the channel uh, during these live streams for the Bitcoin scam. And they um, apologize, of course, if anyone fell for the Bitcoin scams. They think it's, you know, it's unfortunate that happened. They didn't, they didn't go into the exact details of how they got hacked. Maybe they don't know. Um, but all, all they know is that their account was hacked and then those streams appeared and then, uh, YouTube quickly terminated their account, uh, because you can't be doing Bitcoin scams. It's, it's against, it's against YouTube's policy. So the interesting thing about the account being terminated is that there's no guarantee they're ever going to get that account back. Now we have the full story. If you want to know uh, their explanation, uh, they don't really say much other than, uh, we don't know if we're getting the channel back. <laughs> uh, they, they've they've contacted everyone they can on on, on YouTube support. Uh, they actually have somebody uh, on the support team that was actually subscribed to their channel um, say, "Hey, I'm going to try to escalate this up the chain," but no promises were made uh, that they would get their channel back. There are instances of other YouTube channels that have been terminated that have gotten their channel back, but uh, in the quick Google search I could do uh, on this, it looked like 
about 90% of cases of terminated channels stay terminated even if uh, it was due to a hacking. So they might never get their channel back. There's no guarantee. Uh, if they get it back, it takes about three weeks. Uh, so it's, it, it's they, they won't have it back uh, till September sometime if it does come back. But they might not get the channel back. Uh, maybe because of, of how it was hacked. Maybe they were just being too flimsy with their passwords or, or, or whatever the case might be. So YouTube uh, might not give them their account back and they don't have any control over that. And that obviously sucks for a channel that was really successful, uh, you know, making decent money, all that jazz. Uh, so they do have another channel. Uh, they've had this channel for a little bit. Um, it's called Nintendo Tonight. And it's where they put up a 17 minute video explaining that basically they don't know if they're ever getting their channel back. They might get it back. Uh, and until they know what's going on, they're going to keep putting their two to three videos they make a week um, up on that channel. And they have one one uh, video up already um, called uh, Changed, and it's how Pikmin 3 Deluxe changes the Super Mario 2020 remastered rumors. Uh, and they, they post a bunch of videos. They have a lot of discussion and speculation around a, around a lot of rumors and around a lot of other stuff. Um, like that and, and that one's got about 18,000 views right now which is is really good for their channel because Nintendo tonight only has 2,540 subscribers so they're really tiny um, compared to the 77,000 or even really tiny compared to us but clearly their audience you know is a bit wider they have a following on Twitter and all this jazz so uh, words getting out but they're not gaining massive subscribers back so uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this translates for them um, they you know, it looks like they're on, they just published their sixth episode of Nintendo tonight, which is a podcast. So they separated their podcast from the channel and I am hoping beyond hope that they can get their channel back because it's pretty devastating when you work on something like this and, and you, you really, uh, get successful at it and you lose it. And I kept thinking, you know, my channel, as small as it is, you know, my 45,000 subscribers and, uh, you know, my my 500 to 2,000 average uh, views per video, my 500 average on streams. Like, it, it would be pretty devastating for all the work I, I've done on this channel, especially the last three years, for um, it to get hacked or terminated and have the complete, you know, fate of everything I've worked towards out of my hands. Obviously, I would just start making content on my second channel or whatever like they're doing. But, you know, like right now, they can't make money on this channel. You know, they got 18,000 views on that video. They can't make any money. And these are people that were likely close to partially, at least partially, doing this for a living. Um, so, yeah, they got 18,000 views. But until they're over 10,000 subscribers, they can't even run ads. Uh, and beyond that, they got to go like a full month. Of, of data collecting to reach certain thresholds to qualify for the ad program. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're pretty far behind. And this happened, you know, a couple days ago. And Nintendo Tonight was at 1,000 subs. Now it's at, you know, you know 2,540. But that's still really far off. And it doesn't look like a lot of their audience is transitioning over. It feels like most of their audience was centered on the Switch Stop channel. Just like for me, I have... You know, 7,000 plus people follow me on Twitter, probably 5,000 dead accounts or so. I don't know. My tweets, you know, don't don't get a lot of likes and retweets usually. So um, I would say that if my channel would just vanished, uh, most of my audience wouldn't be able to find me again uh, because my audience is so centered here. And it makes me wonder myself too about diversifying. Like, I, you know, I'm doing this giveaway. You know, should I be promoting my Twitter more? Should I be promoting my Discord in these giveaways as well as like extra entries? Uh, because I want to get my audience um, onto multiple platforms, even though my videos are all centered and streams are all centered in one spot. If something ever did happen to Nintendo Prime, I would, it would be awesome if a majority of my audience could just be told, and then they could follow wherever my content goes after that. And right now, that's just not possible for me. I don't have a big following anywhere else but on my channel. Um, and so this is kind of a, a, a almost an internal warning for me and maybe a warning to other YouTubers uh, that we really should be, you don't necessarily need to diversify your audience in terms of streaming on Twitch or, or Twitter like that, that. That's a healthy way to diversify as well. But I mean, in terms of making sure your followers don't just follow you on YouTube, they follow you on other social media platforms. So it's easier for them to find you uh, if something does happen that is maybe through no fault of your own. Maybe YouTube's policies change one day and they don't allow these gaming commentary channels and stuff. Uh, so I don't know. 
Uh, you guys let me know. Have any of you guys ever heard of Switch Stopped? Uh, or Switch Stop, I should say, not Stopped. Uh, and are you, um, you know, hoping that they get their stuff back? Um, I've only seen a couple of their videos. Um, and so I, I know that their videos are, are pretty decently edited. Uh, and they seem to have pretty good commentary from what I can tell. But, you know, a lot of opinions. Like, you know, how Pikmin 3 Deluxe changes the Super Mario. Um, I'll put a link to, to their latest video they put up down below. Like, that, that's a great... It, it, it's a great video i watched it but it's you know it, it, it's more so opinions um and that's fine what do i do with this channel i spew my mouth off and give opinions all the time so who am i to judge all i know is that this sucks and i hope they get their stuff back uh and honestly it doesn't seem like anyone else is even talking about it um i think that they might have existed on an island <laughs> like an animal crossing island but like nobody knows they're there <laughs> uh what i mean to say is People are aware of me because, like, they see me on Spawncast. Uh, they know Player Essence and I have, have, have had debates and stuff in the past. Um, Super Metal Dave and I have had, had contact with each other. Review Tech USA has mentioned me before. Like, so there has been um, interactions with me and other YouTubers. I feel like Switch Stop doesn't interact with anybody. So nobody really is aware of them um, in the normal Nintendo circles on, on YouTube. Uh, so that's why nobody seems to be talking about it. When I type switch stop into the Google search, the only thing that pops up is their Nintendo tonight video on it. So yeah, it, it, it's very, very curious how no one's talking about it. So I wanted to draw attention to it because, Hey, if you guys, uh, you know, we're wondering what the hell happened to him. There are someone that you follow. Uh, Cause I think I did have one person on Twitter mentioned to me, Hey, what the hell happened to him? Um, like here they are, you find them again, enjoy their content again. They're good people. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Robojets from the Center Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to enter our giveaway. Help us on our road to 50,000 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys later. Might stream later. Something like that. I don't know. It is the weekend. You guys have a lovely day.